what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? About 300 Chicago teens stood in line, risking their life to purchase some Air Jordans amid a pandemic lockdown. As a guy on social media, popular sneaker reseller, who told his followers that he would be selling Air Jordans from a storefront. So they went there in droves. No mask, no gloves. Just a bunch of eager teens ready to get their hands on the latest pair of Air Jordans. Before y'all go crazy on the youngsters, just know that stupidity does not have an age limit. I've seen people of all ages, all ethnicities, all colors and shades and sizes from different parts of the United States of America just living it up like it's nothing. Now, apparently, they didn't get the memo that Chicago and the entire state of Illinois is on lockdown. All non-essential businesses are supposed to be closed. <sighs> what are we going to do, fam? What are we going to do? I, I think we've just gotten to a point to where a lot of people are just not taking this coronavirus thing seriously. People are really thinking like it's over. We're past it. It's over. I know Texas just two days ago, we just registered our most deaths, the highest number of deaths over a 24-hour period. And we also reopened some businesses on Friday. Where's the leadership? Oh, my bad. The leadership is out there telling everybody, let's open back up. Let's get back to business. Well, not all leadership. Some people out there, some of the politicians out there, some of those, some of the leaders out there being responsible and they're saying, no, not my city, not my state, not right now. So I salute those people who are out there taking precautions. I know some of y'all saying, man, we got to get back to work. We got to do this forever. What we going to do this? We just going to be scared forever. <laughs> you ain't got to be scared, bro. Jump on out there. <laughs> Do what's best for you and your family. Don't worry about what I'm saying. Well, I'm talking to the people that's listening. <laughs> you don't want to listen. Just go out there and do whatever it is that you want to do. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just putting the information out there. I am telling you that I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea, and it doesn't matter if the uh, officials went on television tomorrow and said, okay, everybody, it's over, the scare is over, okay, everybody get back to work, go back to doing whatever you were doing. I'm not going out there, and I'm never, I don't think, is going to get back to doing what I used to do. This has really awakened me and I'm way more health conscious. I, when I start thinking about, you know, how I was living uh, pre-corona, I can see why I would get sick a couple of times a year. But now, oh no. 
I'm watching it. I, I don't think I'm gonna give up my mask either. I'm going from here on out. Mask. I'm gonna have to see something. I'm gonna have to see a whole lot of evidence to the contrary to get me to take that mask off. But even the, the cleaning of the hands, that's a, that was a good thing that came out of it. People being a lot more health conscious and, uh, and, and conscious of their hygiene about cleaning their hands, uh, being around people that are coughing and you know, watching what they touch, you know, and, and, and sanitizing. You know, that, that's a good thing. That came, that's a good thing that came out of all of this. And perhaps over the long haul, we won't have as many sick people because now people are paying more attention to their hygiene. So that's a good thing that came out of it. But people are hard-headed, man. If most of the states, if we haven't reached our peak with deaths yet, we haven't gotten there yet. We're still rising. We're still there's still an ascension here. So if we're still rising and they're opening, what was the use of clothing in the first place? Why did we close? Why did we close in the first place? It don't even make sense to me. But a lot of people, you know, a lot of things don't make sense in this society that we live in. Uh, this is just one of those periods in time, you know, where you just say, man, I wish that I wasn't here. I wish that I lived on, on the moon, anywhere but here. You know, I ain't saying I'm ready to die, but I'm just saying, man, it's a crazy place. It is a very crazy time to be alive. The people that are in charge, damn. How did we get so low? Anyway, y'all getting back out there? Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about it. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about?